Hi ho friends, welcome back to another video where we look through a bag of my thrift store finds. Most of my finds are gotten at the Goodwill bins or the Goodwill outlets. Um, people call it different things, but it's informally named the Goodwill bins. If you don't know what that is, go to my video number one and check that out. I let you know what it is and how it works, how the pricing works and all that. So we're just gonna dive right in. First item that I found is this guy, my buddy. This is not the first issue of my buddy. I think, um, I think this is like the second one. And it's 1991. Um, I think the first one was made in the 80s. I believe this is what Chucky is based on, but this guy doesn't really look like he's going to come alive and try to kill you. So um, he's got some hair issues bed hair, don't care. And um, this is what he looks like. Big. You can rough house with him. He was made to be played with. Cute little outfit. My buddy doll. Um, the next guy who recognizes this. Do you know what this is? This is Spot. This is the 7-Up Spot. Um, in the 80s or 90s, uh, 1987, so in the 80s, he was made into a little logo for them, a little character. Um, this is plush. It actually has a little loop in case you want to make it into an ornament or hang it from your rear view mirror. Um, but I did find a bendy guy of Spot earlier this year, and he sold right away. And I think this guy is very adorable. Okay, so I'm going to show you some clothing. You all know that I do not sell clothing. I do have some clothing listed because I thought I was going to sell clothing for a while, but then I got into the selling of clothing and I hate it. So much measuring and there's so much fabric and you got to like look for tears and you know, spots, and ugh, it's way too much work. It takes way too long, and it brings way too little money for all that work, in my opinion. Now, one of my very best friends, Magic Summer Vintage, Anne, um, loves it. Um, but only if it's vintage and mostly vintage dresses. So when I have a little downtime at the bins, I'm waiting for them to flip bins and bring new stuff out. I go over um, to the clothing bins and I look for stuff for her. This is one of the things that I found for her. This is a dress. It is by Lands. Apparently Lands is a good name in vintage dresses and it looks like this. Got that great floral pattern, late 80s sort of thing kicking. Look at this back. Sexy. Very cute. Great colors. The fabric feels like it's never been worn, you know. It's still got that kind of crispness to it. Um, so that will be joining her next time she comes to visit me. Or I suppose next time I go to New York State if that ever happens. This next one is by Buyer 2. But it is a classic 80s shape. It's strapless. It has ruching, it's smocked on the back, and it has the multiple ruffled skirt. It looks very tropical, kind of tiki, very cute. So I was really excited to find those things. It's exciting for me to find the things, but not to list them. Way too much work. So I'm gonna hand those over to her and she can have fun. Uh, I also found, still in the original package. I won't take it out right now because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in the original package or not, but this is a military beret hat. You can see it has some, I think this is called flare, honestly. Um, it's in the package. I have sold vintage and like military hats that um, are from right now. I think that they both sell pretty well. Um, if they have a recognizable patch, that's better. 
I've had some that are just like, I, I've done all the research I possibly could and found nothing on it. So um, this one just doesn't have the pin. Um, I'm not sure much about it, but I do know that usually a pin will go here, like a metal pin, and it will delineate you somehow in the military. You're welcome for that wealth of information, by the way. So anyway, I found that. Gonna sell it. And that's the thing, like you don't have to know everything about everything in order to sell stuff. You can do your research as best you can and try to list it with some great keywords to help the people who do know what it is find it. So the next thing I found is a pile of recipe books. Do I pick up all recipe books? And no. Do I pick up all vintage recipe books? And no. Um, but when they're sassy like this, I probably will. This one is Dishes Men Like. Ladies, I don't know what you're doing with your time at home while you're not working, obviously, and cleaning the house um, and fixing dinner for your man, something he doesn't like, but these are dishes that he actually will like, okay? So maybe we'll want to read up on this. Um, like pork chops piquant, obviously, an obvious winner. Um, Oyster bar sue. Hmm. Um, cheese club sandwich. Have you tried making him a cheese sandwich yet, ladies? Because come on, it's pretty easy, okay? It's just, so I think it's sponsored by, by Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? Anyway, I like it. It's good. Um, I don't think it needs to be this sassy about what, you know, men will actually eat. Um, but lots of interesting ideas if you haven't tried a cheese sandwich yet. Then this recipe book is all about wise potato chips. Working stuff in, you know, to regular recipes, just gonna put some potato chips in there. Now, for a person like me, potato chips are kind of just a side for a sandwich, but no, no, no. You can put them in almost anything. Waffles, for instance. <laughs> Have you tried whatever the heck this is? Hmm? Potato chips can only make it better. They're, oh Lord, candies. Mmm, you know what you want to put in candy. It's potato chips. There's a whole thing for desserts besides candies. I mean, this is just... And essentially, it looks like it's just crushing up potato chips and putting them into normal recipes. So, you know, if you haven't tried chicken with potato chips yet, then um, I think you're missing out. I think Wise would say that you were missing out. Ugh, these pictures are a whole recipe devoted to shoving potato chips and stuff. Obviously, I had to get that. So there's a type of recipe book that I have heard recently are selling well. I have one already listed. Um, it has not sold right away. So I don't know if it's a lie or what, but we'll see because I bought a whole bunch of them. And what they are is cookbooks. They're usually spiral bound like this and it's like different churches or groups that put them out. This one is put out by the Beta Sigma Phi International Gourmet Cookbook. And it's pink, guys. So cute, right? And it just will have like, you know, Thelma Glenn gave the recipe for Chinese sweet sour spare ribs. So each recipe is like a family recipe. Um, and these are supposed to be what people want these days. I've got a crap ton of them, so I hope so. Um, this one is from Yorkshire. And I just have oodles and oodles of them. This one, my husband might want to keep, I'm not sure. He loves sourdough. He loved sourdough before it was like cool to love sourdough um, before 2020. But this is an entire cookbook just devoted to sourdough. So we'll see. We have a starter. We use it for pizza every week. We use it for other things sometimes. But um, 
it seems like something he might need to look at. This is Recipes from Old Virginia. And this one actually looks pretty, pretty ancient as well. So creamed eggs. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, the stuff that's in here, you're like, oh, yeah, that's either named really, really poorly or shouldn't be something that people are making to eat. But anyway, there's a whole ton of those. I'm not going to show you all of them because it will take way too much time and I'll go right down that rabbit hole way too willingly. Okay. So here's a baby I have no memory of whatsoever. This is Magic Stroller Baby. Now, Magic Nursery Baby I do remember, and I'm assuming this is the same sort of line. Um, this is 1997, and she has like a, like her head is on a big plastic pole in there. Goes way down to here. It feels like she's got a ribcage or something. Um, but she's made of nylon sort of stuff. Windbreaker material, as I call it. Um, she's in pretty good condition, so I guess I'm just going to have to research that one because I have no knowledge of this. And that's kind of fun. Sometimes you find something and you're like, I've never seen that before. And then you get to research it, and that's a lot of fun, if you're me. Now, I always buy the Fisher-Price Loving Families. Um, the dolls and the furniture. Um, I don't buy the houses. They're enormous, and ain't nobody gonna ship that. But they're very... Oh my goodness, look at this. has a little teapot that's actually connected. They're just so detailed. They just have, like, so much going on. Um, this one even has a place for batteries. I know some of them light up, play music, have parts that move. Um, these open up. And they're just, I mean, a little kitchen set, right? So cute. And then there's one more piece. Ah, a fridge. It's the whole kitchen, guys. So cute. Um, so I usually buy that. It sells pretty well. Sometimes you sit on it for a little while. Uh, other times it sells very quickly. But um, it, I think it brings a good price. And it's easy to get this stuff. I find it all the time. And this is... Um, is this Fisher Price or yeah this is Fisher Price 1993 um, she's supposed to have a skirt but you know it's made of fabric so it gets lost easily but she's of the same variety the loving family which they have just been making new editions of all the time so there's tons and tons of different dolls that are still the loving family dolls found a bag of Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters here in the United States. This looks like a whole bunny family, guys. Oh, mm, so cute. I only ever had one of these when I was a kid. It kind of came on the scene right as I was sort of leaving dolls. But, oh my goodness. They're adorable. I'm pretty sure the Japanese made these up. You can you can be sure that if anything is painfully adorable, it was probably thought up in Japan. Look at these guys. A whole family. They all have their little clothes on. And then there's just um, a bunch of the furniture. Um, this looks like bedding. Oh, here's the bed. So it's got the mattress, bed mattress, and then the blanket. Oh, I found another. Oh. This bunny is a little different. She's got brighter colored clothes, and she has a different color ear tip, brown, on top of there. So maybe she was adopted. I'm not sure what's going on there. But I'll, I'll sell them all together. And then I'll sell the, um, oh my goodness, so cute. I'll sell all the furniture all together. Look at this underneath. You can see the plumbing. Oh, I'm a sucker for details like that. That is so fun. And then it looks like there's just a few little things for a kitchen. There's a pan. 
This looks like a little mug. Tiny, wee little mug. Their stuff is so, so cool. Um, and there's lots of dolls out there that kind of mimic this style. Um, and people want all of them. So I just always grab them when I see them for sure. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, look at this guy. This is from Safari. Safari. Look at how cool this guy is. Safari Makes is one of the companies that make these like really nice, heavy plastic, unbendable um, toys. They have actual animals and fantasy animals, and um, they can bring some nice money. This is 2012, and sometimes it'll say what is, oh yeah, Swamp Dragon. Oh. I think he's so cool. So that was fun. I think before I found like some horses and some farm animals and stuff, I don't think I've ever found anything as cool as that. I think I did find a very cool Stegosaurus one time. This is a bag of Littlest Pet Shop and other things that are like that. I think there's some Hatchimal stuff in here. Honestly, I don't know a lot about this. I usually can recognize the Littlest Pet Shop ones because they have a bobblehead and they have a logo. They almost always have a logo, I think. And then there's all these little ones that seem like the same thing. Um, oh, this one is marked LPS, Littlest Pet Shop. So this will be a bag of work going through here and trying to find what's going on with those. Okay, uh, last thing I'm going to show you is this bag of Easter goodies. This is a bag of um, wooden ornaments. And Easter stuff is kind of hard to find. So whenever I find an adorable little bag of Easter stuff, I always catch it. Some of this looks like it might have fallen apart a little bit. There's a bunch of these carrots very cute. Bunnies. Bunny, bunny, bunnies. All kinds of bunnies. This one looks like a bowling pin. Um, but yeah, I'll just lot all those together. I probably have some more that I found randomly one by one. I'll put them all together and sell them. And they do really well. Even the ones that are very tiny do really well um, if they are nicely made and wooden like that. Okay guys, I think that is a wrap. Um, I wanted to ask you to remember to like with the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am on my way to try to level up on YouTube and you can only do that if you have so many watch hours, subscribers, um, so it's gonna take a long time, but I could use your help. So if you're enjoying watching my videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I also am going to leave some links below for you, my shops, and some items that might be like the items that you've seen here today, since it'll take me a couple of weeks to get these listed. When I do get them listed, I will try to remember to go back and put links in in case you are interested in any of these specific items. Thanks so much for spending time with me. I invite you to go out and find treasure. See you again next time.